and welcome to begin to ending the day with God, sorry, on Tuesday the 25th of June. We opened our worship this evening with Bob Chilcott's Be Thou My Vision. Light of the world, shine in our darkness today. Where there is pain and sorrow, may the brilliance of your love bring joy. Where there is sickness and suffering, may sunshine come after the storm. Where there is greed and corruption, may your radiance scatter the darkness. Where there is hatred and bitterness, may your brightness dispel the clouds. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, rise again upon us, we pray and illuminate the darkness of this world through your life-giving grace. Amen. We come now to tonight's reading from Psalm 103. And we continue our theme of the fatherhood of God. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are but dust. Thanks be to God. And now, this evening's reflection. Compassion and fear sound like an odd combination. If fear is a prerequisite for compassion, it creates the strange notion that God's compassion is dependent on an appropriate emotion in us. However, the Hebrew word for fear can encompass a variety of meanings that are not conveyed by our word. One of these is the right relation of children to their parents, which is probably better translated as honour or respect. This does not mean that we should worry in case we are not honouring God sufficiently. It is more about the state of our hearts. Of course, there are ways that we could do it better, but generally we are seeking to discover more about the reality of God as Father and to give more of our lives to him. The relationship is that of a father and his children, not a judge in a courtroom. Nor does this passage mean that the Lord only has compassion on those who honour him. Most parents have a special place in their hearts for their own children, but this does not mean that they are incapable of having compassion for many other people as well. In the same way, God's love is for everyone. But as his children who are seeking to work out our relationship with him, we have a special place in his heart. Today's passage calls us back to a vision of God as the Father of compassion. So let us endeavour to keep revisiting this beautiful description of him and recognise his utter delight in us. Amen. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer, saying... Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
From our rising to our lying down, Lord, you are with us at every moment of the day. Our reassurance when storms assail, our strength when courage fails. From our rising to our lying down, your light brightens every step along the way. Our comfort when darkness fails, the peace that calms our soul. From our rising to our lying down, you are with us always. Amen. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Amen. Amen. 